This is Shavankar. Today we're gonna see how to use our Ragili app for the field which employs mechanics and technicians. To start with, you can download this app called FieldSense from the Play Store. See, if you go to the Play Store, we can just type the app name as FieldSense F I E L D S E N S. So the first one is that. So as it's already downloaded in my cell phone, so I'm getting this option. So once this is downloaded, we can open this. And once we open, since mine is already logged in, so I will get to see this plan to the home page. However, I can show you by just logging it out. And yeah, I just dropped out from there. Yeah, so generally it comes with this screen where it does the email address and the phone number. The email address and phone number will be created by the company and it will be passed on to you. Right now I will use my email ID and password. So I'll just type this my mail ID. The registered mail ID basically, and then my password. Yeah. So once I log in, then again I came back to this home page. So in this home page. At the bottom, here I can see there is four scheduled visits. So this four scheduled visits, it means that I have four duties right now for today. As you can see on the top, it's today. It's written as today. So this today means uh, I have a right. So this today means. Uh, is the scheduled duty for today, right? So if I decrease the screen, I can see that where all my duties are. So as I can see this number one duty is here and then number four duty is also very nearby. So if I decrease it, as you can see number one, number four, and I can decrease it more, Now, this blue dot line with a circle, this is basically my present position, which I can see on my app. So presently, as I can see, I am nearby Chaurakdanga Sif Kali Temple, and my duty is on number four. So this will give us an idea where exactly my duty are. If I want to go to this duty, I can just simply touch of the four, and the duty client name and at what time duty will start that will pops up at the below there is a map sign will also comes up just like that so from that map sign if i touch the map sign i can go to exactly the location so like that i press start and then from google map i can reach this right Also, before that, the first thing we need to do is when we start this app, we have to go to this. And as I can see, this it, it is punched out. So that means I have already punched out. Right. So now you can see it's, it's written, it's punched in. So 
basically i have punched in at 12:35 pm 16 august so today at 12:30 pm i have punched in so this punched in means is my attendance the moment i will start my work i have to first set this app to punch in so that means i am into the duty now so once this punch in is done so now i can go ahead with my duties so as i can as i told you that i have already four duties from this list among the four duties i already completed two duties so these two duties are off with a right sign and another two duties are still on which i need to complete so there is time is showing uh, for example for the, the duty called rusha their address is, is given as kolkata the time is 10:35 pm so this duty is due basically right now. before that i have another duty that was at uh, anil swain uh, it was for 3:20 pm so let's see if this is a duty so i click on the duty so this kind of option will open so this basically when i reach to anil swain at his location then i can do this uh, i open the screen i have to check in this duty so i press this check in but generally it uh, we have to do the check in in this duty but i can't do the check in because i am away from this location as it you are 6.2 km away from this location particularly so in order to check in this particular duties we have to make sure that we are at least within 500 meters range of the location then only we can check into that particular duty so let's come back to the other duty that is rusha and uh, yeah so we just touch on the duty so the screen will again open and this check in bar is on there so since i am in the location of rusha so i have i can pretty well check in this duty so what i need to do here when i reach to rusha so i have to call the customer so i have to see here the what is kind of a duty so in terms of activity here it will be written the duty name that's like that how it's written as jump start so probably rusha has a jump start duty if i need to contact rusha i can touch this contact screen so i will get his complete address right in order to get is the phone number a If we go to the activity again, uh, you can see his, the phone number is mentioned at seven zero double four zero three nine two eight two six. So now, once I reach to Rucha, I can call the customer, and uh, we can just ask them that reach your location. So customer will come down with the car keys. So moment the customer will give you the car keys, so it's time for us to make this app as check-in. We press this button as check-in. the moment we do the check in so now this uh, option of check in is gone so it's showing us check out so the check in means i have attended this duty so it's time for me to start my work so i will start my work rusha is is a jump start if the car service whatever things are there so according to that i will start my duty i will do the complete the job and then when everything and i can well i can keep the phone off while doing this job and this thing will be any way it will open i can even uh, even we can switch up the phone if uh, if you do not want to uh, die out the battery however once the duty is done so again we have to come back to this app and it's like the same screen will open when we come back and we can see this check out option so like see if once uh, If the check-in is done, we can just complete this. Yeah, we can minimize the tab and we can start working on it. So once the work is done, so again we go back, we open the field sense tab, the same screen of Rusha will open. Okay. So now I need to check out this duty as I am. Uh, we presume that the, the duty is over. I am done with my uh, jump start work. so once it does so again it's same here the check out option i have to now click the check out option the moment i do the check out option it will move to another screen it will ask for the amount so this amount is basically how much amount i have collected from the customer right during the, after the duty so 
probably the jump start suppose we have collected 500 rupees so we have to mention as 500 rupees then the next point is payment method the payment method is basically nothing but what how we have taken the payment whether it's a cash or whether it's a online so whatever the method is there that we have to take now if it's online so we have to make sure we have to call the call center to confirm that that uh, payment is online the company has already received so make sure you need to confirm it otherwise if you do miss it out that will be again deducted from your balance so make sure you always call the call center to confirm or to check the very i mean that payment uh, confirmation whenever you are taking an online payment from the customer so once it's done as online so let's move to the next stage is status the so status is basically the three stages done missed and the schedule so if you are done with this so we just give done and then if we are missed the duty we can go for missed so anyways if let's presume that we have done with the duty so we will skip the status as done and now it will ask for a picture so the picture is basically that we have to take the picture of the car which we have done the service so as you can see this camera sign just besides the picture we touch this camera sign my our camera will open and we can simply take the picture of the car by placing the camera there right and this picture will come and on the top this correct sign if we touch this picture will get saved So once the picture is saved here, so it's asking for a safety image caption. So basically in this image caption, you have the car numbers of which car you have, you, see, you have done. So probably I have given this number, the so WB260-6451. And then once it's done, we can pretty well submit this response. I, so we just click on the submit and once the submit will come it will show us a status that you have started this duty at 10 31 and this is your closing at 10 31 so basically we have closed it earlier so that's why it's going as team but anyway generally uh, this app will prompt you the whether the uh, the duty timings are correct or not so we can confirm it by pressing this right sign and then it will ask for the report outcome so this report outcome is basically the feedback how was what is the feedback how uh, how this uh, service has gone so we press this again this right sign on the report outcome so we open up with this kind of page so whether right we can see two faces one with the happy face one is the unhappy face so basically if the feedback is good we put this happy face it will come as a green color if the feedback is not good if customer is not happy or something wrong has happened we can put this unhappy face as a red color so whatever the things are there we have to mention a description so let's presume that we have a good feedback and we can write the feedback good there and once it is done we can just again click the this right sign on the top of the screen so you click this right sign and this report expense thing now it comes as report expense so basically if while doing this service, if we have made any expense, for example, like we have to buy an engine oil, we have to buy an oil filter, that we can record out here. So we just put, put right thing. So then this page will get open where we have, can report the expense thing. This expense thing we can do afterwards as well. We It's not mandatory, we have to do it at the end of the duty itself. Maybe we can do it afterwards after completion of the duties even. So, Right, when you come to this report section, so it has various categories. You can select the So yeah, so we can see there are various categories when you touch to this category. This has travel, miscellaneous, unknown basic. So whatever is the expenses. For example, like we take the item because we have used engine oil. So 
in the expense side we have to mention that part name in Genoa and that amount for example 1700 so again it will ask for take or select picture so we have to take picture of either the bill or probably uh, we can upload the bill if we have the bill of that product or we can simply take a picture of that item over the MRP tag and then we upload out here so this is how we are putting a claim on company of uh, this particular thing right and we press this right sign on top of the screen so this expense is clean okay. so now we can see that this duty is over now so we have completed one duty successfully and you have reported to the office so that's all for this uh, reporting i mean check in check out for the duties now there are some other features also in this app with this app you press this triple uh, uh, straight line uh, you will open with this menu bar in the menu bar you can see uh, my team this my team is basically who other people are working with you and you can even uh, get to know where is your manager and all that you can also get to know from then there is a visit visit is basically again the number of duties you have uh, also uh, in this visit you can even check the future duties or the previous duties so as on the top we can see it's written as today so if we touch that we open up the calendar so maybe i can check out for my tomorrow's duty so let's see if i touch the 17 and press this So right now it's it's telling me 17 August 2020, but I have one schedule. So this is my duty list for 17, right? So with the help of this app, we can see the whole monthly duties, how many I have done, and all, all kind of login reports we will be able to generate. So let's go back to 16th only. Uh, today is it? So these are my four duties I have done on 16. Right. Then again on the menu bar, there is another option called messages. In this message, this is an internal message system where we can talk to our managers or for any emergency message we can drop out here. There is one more option called no timeout today, just above the my team and just below the punch. So this is basically when uh, we are going out for a break or something, we can just end these features. So that means for that particular time you are off for your lunch, you're off for your break or whatever the thing is done, right? And whenever you're back to duty again and you, you're over with your break or you're over with your uh, uh, lunch or everything, so you can just switch off this thing and you're back to the duty. So now this app will start giving you the uh, duties again. Apart from that, in this expense, as I said, if you go to this expense, you can able to see what, what are the expense you have claimed. On the top, you can see the claimed expense 3550. You can see the list of claim what you have made already to the company. And if it is approved, uh, uh, this approved bar is, is showing zero because none of my amount has been approved so far. If it is approved, it will show out here. If it is disbursed, it will show on the disbursed bar. We can add my expense here also by pressing this plus sign. Just like how we have added our expense like this and we uh, do the adding amount we have to put, suppose like that. Again, we have to take a picture. We take a picture like this. And press the right sign, it's uploaded. Is right setting in the expense reported successfully. So, in any case, if we missed out the expense reporting, we can even do it afterwards with the help of the app. After that, yeah, the forms and settings is basically settings is nothing but if you want to check your log report for a month or something, you can just touch on to this send a log report. You can select the date and then you'll get an option of whatsapp this so you can whatsapp it you can email the day whatever you want so that's all for 
this app these are the enabling features and so make sure you have to punch in and punch out all the time uh, if whenever you're starting your duty make sure you punch in this and if you are under rsa we will suggest you never punch it out you just keep it punch in every time because it's only if you're on holidays or anything then only you punch out right so the process of punch out is just on the first line where is punch in written 1230 that bar is green just touch that bar once so it will off it will ask are you sure you want to punch out so you can say yes so once you punch out this system will ask for the refilling so this refill is the features for the car washes basically or the bike washes so who doesn't have if it is not applicable to you you can simply select no for all the options and then you can press start so that's it for this uh, app and again on the next day when you start working you can simply just go and start the punch in and you can start work so thank you very much for giving your time if you have any doubts any queries regarding this app you can let me know you feel free to reach me on our email or call us thank you and have a good day